Hey guys, so today we are on the bed in a different place. I usually like to sit in on the bed, the bed, <laughs> when I'm doing a video where I just talk and chill. I've just been talking a lot to people after I gave birth to Amari and I decided that I was just gonna do a video on how I lost my postpartum belly. So today we're gonna do that and let's just jump into the video. Oh, hi. <laughs> this is all the disclaimers that I would like to point out. Everybody's body is different and honestly, I actually thought that my body was gonna be very, very different after I gave birth and I'm very grateful for the body that God has given me and what has happened. <laughs> um, um, but I want to share with you guys things that will help you if you are about to drop your baby. Don't have unrealistic expectations for yourself. It is better to have realistic expectations and take care of yourself, take care of the baby. That's what comes first and everything else is just really <laughs> things that will happen along the way. I, I hope that the people who are watching this are people who are about to give birth because it's better that you start before you drop the baby. Let's say you just got pregnant, right? If you just get pregnant, the first thing you're gonna wanna do, there's gonna be a time, probably after your whole throwing up, that you're going to want to just eat everything. Now, with me, I was on a special diet when I was pregnant. I actually had gestational diabetes. Oh, so that meant that the, everything that I was eating was very restricted. I used to eat six times a day, very, very small portion size. I used to always pair carbohydrates with protein. They literally told me each time that I had to eat and I had to check my blood sugar, all those things. So the things that I was eating were things that were really good for me. I just ate in the morning. I always ate whole wheat toast and uh, peanut butter because peanut butter is a protein and bread is a carb and I only ate one slice um, I would have a snack a couple of hours after that maybe a yogurt and a banana you know that kind of thing but the meal plan was definitely customized for me it was left to me I would have eaten horribly because I was already doing that see I was pregnant I was to eat everything so I was already doing that so I really didn't have a choice that's really what happened Please try your best to eat healthy during your pregnancy because this will really help after point one so let's say you're already gone you already passed the point of oh i can eat better during my pregnancy you've already dropped your baby now i'm not gonna lie the first couple of hours in fact the first couple of weeks after you drop your baby you are not going to be looking at your body you are just literally going to be immersed in what the baby needs how you're going to feed this human i don't think i looked at my body until like maybe two weeks after and i was like oh Oh, your stomach that's how you look cool you know i didn't really think about it at all so i'm just gonna let you guys know that that's very unrealistic for you to start working on your belly immediately my mom basically put hot water on my stomach and she used to give me massages while you're in the hospital they already push your stomach they push your stomach and this pushing your stomach makes it go down and you pass all the blood and everything that's in there so by the time you get home you probably still be bleeding so you don't want to do too much intrusiveness to your belly area however when it's still malleable that time that you just give birth you have to do as much as possible so that it goes down the, the massaging really helps because it helps you cleanse your system it helps your stomach go down that kind of thing so just massage yourself with hot water tip number three that I would like to say is after that hot water you always make sure that you tie your stomach this was actually advice that I got before I even gave birth that I needed to tie my stomach immediately I gave birth my friend actually told me that she did it for like a couple of months and the couple of months that she did it she got like her stomach right back and what tie your stomach is I'm going to actually demonstrate for this you. is what my stomach looks like right now as you can see it's not all the way flat flat um, it changes over time you can see that there's still a little bit of a bump right here but um, that's something that I'm not really I don't really care that much about um, but bless you baby how my stomach was even before I gave birth to Amari so it has gone back I'm not wearing anything this is just high-rise underwear so it's not really like I never wear shapewear or anything like that so this is really what my stomach looks like right now I use this Gold's Gym belt this Gold's Gym belt has been clutch. So what I do is it has two extra hooks to it. So all I do is I take it, I really tighten it like this, right? And then those two straps, 
And what I like is it gives me support. So you take one side, usually the side that doesn't have the Gold's Gym, and you put it on one side, and then you tie it to the other. So I got from Gold's Gym, like I, they had, I, I can't remember, this was a very long time ago when I used to actually work out. So I had this in my house, and my mom was like, this is going to be a good thing for you to wear. So this is what I wear, and as you can see, it really flattens it. And I wear this for like 10 to 12 hours. Sometimes I just wear it the whole day. I sleep with it. But I always make sure that I take it off because you don't want to be hurting yourself. This is actually a head wrap. Um, I got this from Atara's Avenue. So basically, with this head wrap, you can use anything, but any type of material as long as it's strong enough. And all you need to do is wrap it around your belly and tie it in the back. As tight as you possibly can. And if you need, have somebody help you with this and tying this also is is really good for that nice support and you tie this again for like 10 to 12 hours a day you know make sure that it's firm on the bottom especially because the bottom of your stomach is actually where your uterus is so that's actually where there's going to be more of a pooch so when you tie you want to make sure you tie it really well and everything is sucked in. Make sure that you're wearing your belt, you're tying your stomach, you've massaged it with hot water. If you do these things, your stomach will go back to normal. One thing that I feel like really has helped with this whole process is breastfeeding. Breastfeeding has definitely helped me lose a lot of weight. Apparently, breastfeeding actually burns about around 500 calories a day. So for me to actually breastfeed my child, I'm already losing that weight. I, I have lost weight since um, I, I gave birth to Amari. And I feel like really it has to be breastfeeding because... And it's funny because I've actually noticed and I've heard from other women that some people, some women lose weight from breastfeeding and some women don't. If you are unable to breastfeed for any type, any reason, don't be so hard on yourself. Like I said, you can use these other methods to lose your weight. Really want to make sure that you are, oh, my baby's crying. Make sure that even if you are going to go to the gym, you take it easy. Uh, funny story is that when I was on Instagram Live, there was one day that I had talked about how I really wanted to get back into the gym, but having a baby and going back to the gym is very unrealistic because where am I going to put it? So they prescribed that I do some home workouts. So if you want to get back into the gym and you want to see how you can lose your stomach, the first thing I will tell you is don't do too many ab workouts. Cardio is always going to be helpful for you. I haven't even started this at all. However, through research, through things that I've seen, I already know that, you know, because of diastasis recti, which is like this thing where like your abs separates because your stomach was big and your stomach held a child, you can aggravate that. So doing all those ab workouts will not help your stomach go down. What will help your stomach go down is cardio. So if you do want to go back to the gym, make sure you're doing a lot of cardio. And aside from cardio, make sure that you're following a healthy diet so those are the tips that i have for you if you know any other tips on how you can uh, minimize or lose your postpartum belly please let me know down below so that other people can read it and they'll be like okay cool this is how you know i did it so yeah that's really it for today mari say bye bye no no bye bye okay but yeah that's really it that's all i have for you guys today um in my next video is going to be a really cool video so watch out for that on thursday and i hope you guys have a great week bye